second snap to Duchelle. With time, going deep, down the sideline, looking in the corner, it's caught! Touchdown, Shane Bouchelle, right back on the field, drops it in for the score. At four years of age, Shane's rocket arm developed with his two older sisters and his two older brothers. We always knew. I mean, you ask any of my buddies, they say the same thing. You know, they knew when he was young that he was going to do something big. He was probably the most competitive out of us all. He would not go inside until he beat one of us. He's definitely always wanted to compete with the big boys, and he's never shied away from it. At a young age, you know, I could never, never overtake any of them. He took Arlington Lamar deep in the playoffs and was the number one rated high school quarterback in Texas. He's the first true freshman quarterback to start for the Longhorns in 72 years. Not what he is now. Now he's very composed and calm, and when he was tiny, he was like a spaz, and he would run around everywhere. It was very empty. He's just always been calm and cool and collected, and uh, seeing that carry over into game situations, it definitely doesn't surprise me, but um, I mean, it's impressive the way he handles everything. My dad's helped a lot, as well as my mom and all my family. Um, he's just told me to stay humble and just trust in everything that happens, you know, not, not getting too big in the spotlight. Dad is the bench coach for the best team in the American League. Steve Bouchelle played most of his 11 seasons with the Rangers. There's a long drive, it's got an up, and it is gone. Known for being a vacuum at third. Rangers manager Jeff Bannister gave him the day off to see Baby Boo's debut. It was overwhelming. I mean, just to see him come out of the tunnel and watch him go out there, it's hard to explain. I wouldn't say it was a nervous feeling, but there were butterflies. And it is a touchdown! Shane Bouchelle's first career touchdown pass at the collegiate level. I had tears in my eyes, and I'm like, oh my gosh, he just won his first game, college game on this scene. And um, it was just so awesome. And, and just, you know, Shane came out afterwards and acted like it was nothing. He just. What, I don't know what he said to see. I mean, he said, what's up, Pops? And that's what he said. The most fans Steve Bouchelle played in front of, 48,000. That's not even half of DKR. Shane's debut as a Texas Longhorn in front of 102,000 crazy fans. And ever since, Steve is no longer known as Ranger Great and bench coach of the American League West Champs. He's just known as Shane's dad. That's not, it's not too bad. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> We're super proud of him. Shotgun snap, Michelle up fake, going deep, got Gerard Hurt open, in the end zone, caught, touchdown Texas! There's one problem about this story, Shane's siblings are Sooner fanatics. Big brother Garrett walked on at OU and took the Sooners to the College World Series. His wife Susie is an All-American volleyball star. I'll never forget when we first went to that tailgate. Um, and I looked at Steve Bouchelle and he just looked at me and he said, what are you wearing? And I was wearing a Texas shirt. And then there's Amber, who's walking around the OU campus as a junior. It's her brother is the quarterback at UT. It freaks me out. I like it to stay low key because <laughs> that gives me chills. Shane had many offers, including OU and Texas. And then once Austin Kendall, you know, became our guy, that was, you know, that was, you know, generally get two quarterbacks in it. In a recruiting class. The Sooners' loss is the Longhorns' game. You know, it's all over Oklahoma. Even his two sisters, when I took the picture, you know, I made them put our, you know, put the horns up there and said, Coach, one time, can we do it with the down? And, and, I, and I told him, I said, listen, since I'm getting your brother, we, we can let that happen. But now we done turned that family, so we, we got them all. They're, they're all horns now. Around the time I committed, they were they kind of were just giving me, giving me some comments, some jokes. But, you know, I think... Actually, I know they're, they're really happy for me. It's a little weird at first, but I think he made the right choice. We really appreciate being together, and if being together, rooting for a Longhorn means that we get to be together, then that works for us. So what do you do for Texas OU? Sit on the 50-yard line and straddle the color line? Definitely be torn. I mean, like I said, all my buddies and I, we've talked about it. We don't, we don't know what we want. We want to see Shane go out there succeed, but it's tough to watch. UT beat up on OU again. I trimmed the bushes and I put a UT in my bushes outside and I showed the girls and they go, gosh, favoritism, on. I own two UT shirts. <laughs> I own about 20 OU shirts. I did order a jersey, it's half and half. He has a great game and everything goes great. 
you know, you happens to win, that'll just be the icing on the cake. Nowadays, Susie coaches at Nolan Ryan's alma mater, Alvin High School. And it was Nolan who talked Steve Bouchelle into coaching. He rose like a phoenix in the minors with so many of the current Rangers young stars. I'm hoping, this doesn't sound silly, but I hope I miss a lot of Shane's game. I hope I get to pick it up like in early November. That will work out really good. And the Rangers have some work to do.